Hey everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. If you are my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Your support means everything to me and I can't thank you enough for all you do for me. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and visit again and I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. So anyway, going to be doing another plan with me video and um, as you know, my plan with me videos are a little bit of memory keeping, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of uh, exercise um, stats things like that but also of course a little bit of planning so the last one that we did was from uh, November the last week in November from Monday November 25th through Thanksgiving and through December 1st so this week we are going to be starting December 2nd Monday December 2nd through Sunday December 8th and I'm going to be using this uh, kit from Stickadelic and all month of December I'm going to be using Christmas themed kits only because I went crazy and loved them all and bought way too many so this one is by from Stickadelic and it's called the uh, Christmas Bell so she always sends these payday stickers I think I've got it upside down for you. See if I get that. So we got jingle bells. We have Merry Christmas, Joy to the World, and just some Christmas themed with presents and Christmas decorations. We've got these uh, these items that I love to use. We've got this gr big Christmas bell. Love this little girl. She's so pretty. So I'm hoping I can use it in there. And if not, there is a ton of deco in this kit as well. So that should help fill in some of the white spots along with some boxes, some charting, some more deco. I've already used um, from another kit. I just kind of filled in the dates already. So I'm ready to go with that. We've got these headers that I use for washi since I have a vertical kit. And again, we've got some more washi here and some more flags and charting. The pictures that I want to be using this week. So I'll, every, every week I always have this one to uh, do my beginning weight and my end week. End weight. I've got this one from Christmas a few years ago. That's my husband dressed up as Santa Claus if this ever focuses with Mr. Wiggles. And Mr. Wiggles was a big boy. He was our rescue Dane and he was 240 pounds. He was a big boy. He wasn't that big when we got him, but anyway, and this is one that we did way back. Uh, we were living in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and my husband had gone up to Maine hunting for a week at the end of October. So the girls and I dressed up in uh, some Christmas colors. We decorated the back wall of that brick fireplace. Took a picture that we could give him when uh, it's part of his Christmas present. So that was quite a few years ago. This one is from a few years ago. It's our daughter Sabrina, her husband Mike, and the jelly beans getting ready for Christmas. Tori Pie and Aiden. And this is uh, our other grandsons, Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. That was a few years ago. They don't look like that anymore. But again, this is a uh, memory keeping, and I just love looking at old memories. And this is another one from back in Pawtucket. Whoops, sorry about that. And that's my husband, again, dressed up as Santa. We've got uh, Sir Stetson in the middle right here. And again, Raina and Sabrina on each side. Um, just in case I need some more washi, I've got some that I got from um, Amazon, so I've got this to use. So anyway, let's get started with this, and I am going to uh, fast forward it through putting on the washi strips and the date cover, so I will be right back.
Alrighty, so we went through the basics and now I'm just going to start filling in some of the basic information to start my week. And I like to put in the uh, forecast. So this week um, it's going to be a kind of cold week. I think the low temperature is around 4 degrees and the highest temperature is going to be about 38, 39. It's supposed to be a dry week so not any snow or rain this week so that is pretty cool. I'm a little cold, but nothing that we can't live with, right? All right, so now I'm just going to start filling in some things that I know that I need to do during the week. So I know on Monday I had uh, just got my stitch fix the week before, and I needed to return the items that I wasn't going to keep. I also wanted to uh, start recording a video sticker haul because I wanted to start using some of the uh, stickers that I got. Hopefully on Tuesday I got to upload that sticker video. That at least was my plan. Wednesday, of course, is trash day. I later added laundry since I didn't have too much going on Wednesday. Um, Thursday I wanted to start working on some organizing some of the Plan With Me videos that I've started to record here and there, but I hadn't started put, putting them together, so I needed to work on that. I also needed to stop at the grocery store on the way home um, I needed to make some meatballs with sausage and then a pasta with a meat sauce so that I could take it to work on Friday in a, the crock pots for a potluck dinner. Uh, Friday I also had a large uh, castrol bulk order that was coming in so I wanted to make sure I got there early so we could get that unloaded and get ready to start the day. Saturday and Sunday I didn't quite know what I was going to do yet so I ended up leaving them blank. I probably should go to work but I had so much to do around the house I'm going to be getting ready to go on a trip back home I've got uh, Christmas decorations to put up and tree to get up so I hadn't planned on going in on Saturday and Sunday so I just kind of left those days blank and I figured I would work on them later and here on that uh, bottom section I decided that um, man, Manischewitz I made a mess out of that uh, washi strip so I needed to straighten that out and then I wanted to put in that uh, old Christmas picture of uh, Rick uh, with Sir Stetson, our Brittany, um, a Brittany Spaniel with Raina and Sabrina. The girls used to tease us and think that we loved Sir Stetson more than them. But that wasn't true. We loved them all the same. Um, I also want to put in that big uh, Christmas bell picture in the middle on Saturday and Sunday since I don't have too much going on. And then a picture up at the top of Maddie and Jeff. And as you see, I am going to butcher the heck out of that picture. Um, it, that tape that I use is just so sticky that there is no leeway. Once you start to put it down and you need to try to rip it up again, it just it just makes a mess. So you're going to see I really butcher the crap out of that. And I try my best to fix it, but in the end uh, it stayed. But I was not happy with the way that came out. So... Um, Maybe after this video is over, I might go ahead and print another picture like that and then put it over that one. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe when it's all together, it won't look so bad. And again, I'm going to put that big picture of Lady Belle right in the center. I'm just trying to figure out the best placement for it. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put in that picture. And actually, we got Stetson. My husband, uh, he was a smoker for many years. And uh, one time he went with some friends to a hypnotist to uh, stop smoking. And uh, after he left the hypnotist, he went out and bought a gun. First gun he ever owned, as far as I knew him anyway. And uh, decided he was going to become a hunter and he was going to go hunting for pheasants. So we went up to Maine. We uh, had searched for some Britney Spaniels because that's what he decided he wanted. And we ended up going to Pride and Joy Kennels in Maine. So that was a nice little trip up to get Stetson. We had him for 13 years. He was an awesome boy. Um, actually, we ate, had him bred once, and then that's how we got Lady Penelope. But he was his best buddy. So um, anyway, now I'm on to putting on some other pictures on the first page. So I've got uh, Sabrina and her husband Mike and the jelly beans, Tori, Pie, and Aiden. And then I've got this picture that I'm putting in of uh, Raina, Sabrina, and I. And uh, Rick had just gone hunting with Sir Stetson up in Maine. Uh, actually, it wasn't. He didn't take Sir Stetson with him. He was going deer hunting. So it was after he had gone to the hypnotist and he was going to become this, uh, you know, great hunter. And so um, 
he had also finished school and he was going to be getting his first desk job. He wasn't going to be a machinist anymore. He was an en going to be an engineer at uh, Northrop um, designing a smaller ring laser gyro. So while he was hunting in Maine for uh, over Halloween, the girls and I put on some red clothes. We decorated the fireplace and we took some pictures so that we could pick one out for Christmas for him to put on his desk at work. And uh, the one that I'm putting in now is actually Rick again in a really nice Santa costume uh, with our foster. Well, he, he was really our puppy, but we, for all intents and purposes, he was our foster rescue Great Dane. And uh, when we got him, he was a bag of bones. And we had him for a few years before cancer set in. And he was a whopping 240 pounds. He was an awesome boy and the start of our Great Dane love. Um, so now I'm just I'm waiting for this to catch up with me. And oh, so I am now just uh, going back to the stick of delicate, the Christmas bell, and I'm just going to take out some of those full boxes and just kind of fill them in where that Christmas bell picture is so big that kind of takes out a few of the pictures. Plus, again, I've got my own memory things in there, too, and what I want to do for my my normal activity so I don't have a lot of room for for those pictures and the full boxes were really really pretty and I think I ended up taking three of them to put in the book and and I just really love the way uh, they came out so I picked out one that says Merry Christmas one that says joy to the world and then one that matches the uh, washi strips with that uh, Christmas plaid so I just love that um so anyway, now I think I had uh, set it off and I just, it was the end of the week, so I was coming back to uh, put in the stats um, and anything else that happened during the week. So in that section off to the right, I'm putting in my steps on the elliptical at work, the uh, steps, the hours, and the miles, and I think my best day was actually Wednesday. Um, I think I probably worked a little bit of overtime that day. I had in 21,000 steps on the elliptical. I had pedaled for 7.1 hours and I did 8.4 miles. So that was excellent. Um, I didn't go into work on Saturday and Sunday, but I did, um, since I was working on YouTube at home, I actually did it from my desk so that I could use the elliptical as well. And some reason when I do the elliptical at home, I just don't get as much miles in. Um, I think it's there's just too many distractions. Plus, I'm listening and, and watching the videos and typing them. But I still, uh, still got, you know, 2.72 miles in on Saturday and 2.9 miles in on, on Sunday. So I was, uh, I was happy with that. Um, and again, the elliptical for me, it's its just really working out great to me. I think it's really sped up my metabolism quite a bit so that I'm, I'm able to, even though I'm eating, I think it's helping me to burn off calories. And so I am really just loving it. So I just put in the weekend banner that came with that kit because sometimes I forget that it's there because I'm going to uh, take the washi that came in from the kit, the headers later, and put that in and then... I forget that the weekend banner is on that same page. So here I'm just starting to put in some things on Monday. I didn't have too much going on. So I just put in uh, the best and let's have fun little stickers that uh, I think actually were from the Erin Condren book. And I picked the best with that one because Sabrina's twin, the jelly beans, are just so funny no matter what they do, no matter what they get. It's this is the best ever. This is the best dinner I ever had. This is the best toy. I'm having the best time. So I picked the best just uh, as a reminder of how they always are. I put my, my laundry sticker in on Wednesday. I put uh, some deco from the kit on um, Tuesday. So I got a Christmas tree and some presents in between those two full boxes. And that just really filled up that page really nicely. On um, Thursday, I'm just trying to put in festive wishes and planning time because I wanted to work on uh, trying to put, piece together some videos and delete some things. And, uh, and again, I made a mess. So as you can see, I was tried to put down this ribbon thing and I ripped it and then I was going to try to fix it. But then I decided this wasn't going to work. So I'm actually going to shut the video off and uh, come back on. So I put one of those half boxes in there and then I put those uh, stickers in there. The festive wishes uh, from the uh, Christmas bell kit from Stickadelic and then the planning time. And of course, 
I put them on crooked so I had to lift them up and put them back on again so I have no idea why I can't lay things down straight and you're probably pretty glad that I fast forward this at the end and then do voice all of this because you would just hear me grunt and moaning through the whole time about how stupid I am that I can't lay something straight. It's really a pet peeve of mine but anyway it's still fun. So anyway then I ended up putting a little Christmas ball there in the middle and now I'm on to Friday. So of course I want to use uh, my Friday sticker and another sticker but I decided because I made such a mess on Thursday that I grabbed that half box right away to put in there. I put on the Friday sticker that little girl from Planner Kate and then I'm putting on that wine girl because we had cocktails at work and then later on I came home and had some more wine and that's from the uh, sugary gal pal or something like that i'll link that below um i like those stickers that she has and then i just put in uh, some more deco in there on saturday and sunday since i didn't go to work and i really didn't get to work on youtube that much this week so i really wanted to dedicate quite a bit of time to youtube so i made these little youtube stickers and then i put it with the uh, a planner cake girl uh, from YouTube just to show working on the computer and I think Saturday I probably watched at, at least six to eight hours of videos and commented on quite a bit and I did the same again on Sunday if not even maybe eight to ten hours Sunday I also did my color street nails to start off the week so I put a little uh, nail polish in there that I got I believe I got that from Stickadelic as well um, I was going to put on some more deco, but I decided to do uh, my little uh, charts that I put in between that picture on the bottom of my weight and of Sir Stetson. And the last few times I did uh, three things. I did the water, the exercise, and YouTube, but because I only really worked on YouTube uh, commenting and things on Saturday and Sunday, I only put in two of those little uh, charting things from Stickadelic that week from that kit. So I did do um, at least eight to 10 glasses of water every day. And I did uh, put down that I exercised every day, although it was just the elliptical. Someday I do hope to uh, start putting in some, um, some weight training or some upper body strength. I'd, I really would like to get into Pilates or yoga or something like that. Just really some strength training to uh, kind of build up my core and my arm strength and where I did lose like 52 pounds this, um, this past year. Um, my skin just looks horrible. It's uh, I've just lost so much muscle tone that I, I know I need to work on that. So hopefully someday I will get that in there and then I can uh, log that in my chart as well. Right now I'm taking those headers that came from the uh, Christmas bell kit and I'm putting them in and I use it as washi. Anyway, my computer kicked me off, so I'm starting over again. So anyway, I'm using the uh, headers that came uh, with the uh, Christmas bell kit that I, I use as washi in between uh, there, just to kind of define uh, the groupings in between the days. And I just think that adds a little bit, kind of adds a little bit of pizzazz. Um, and of course, I think I said earlier that I had a vertical um, planner, but as you can see, I have a horizontal planner and a lot of the uh, the headers and things are more for the uh, vertical kits um, the vertical planners so um, but I do like using it as this washi strip to define it and so that's why if I do that I do need to add some of the additional washi that I get from Amazon and from some other sources which I did do another quite a big bit of shopping over this uh, the weekend or whatever and so I've got another planner haul that I really need to start working on too because I want to use some of that stuff that I got but I want to show you first so anyway I'm still laying down the washi um, um, in between everything I think on Saturday too I also put in one of the uh, oh look it's a coffee o'clock because I just Saturdays it doesn't make a difference if I go to bed at 7 in the morning sometimes on a Friday night which I do because I just can't sleep probably because I drink a lot of coffee and water and I just can't go to sleep right away so even if I go to bed at 7 in the morning and I get up at 12 o'clock I want to relax with a cup of coffee before I do anything and I just uh, really enjoy a nice cup of coffee without having to rush that I'm not rushing to get out the door to work or getting a coffee after I get to work and then you're still answering the phone and you reheat your coffee 20 times and yeah that's no fun so on Saturday and Sundays when I have coffee I just kind of like to sit and relax and take my time so again I'm still putting on the washi strips and um, 
wish I could get it done a little bit faster than that. I should have probably sped this part up a little bit more, but then I probably uh, would run into uh, not being able to finish explaining things. I believe I also put in my weight already at the bottom of the page. I started the week at 109.2 and I finished the week at 109.8. And I'm really not trying to lose weight right now. I just kind of, you know, and I don't mind if I go up a couple of pounds or down a couple of pounds. I'm really struggling trying to maintain. So if I can stay in that kind of range long long term i'm happy that means i'm uh working on the maintaining and i think doing the elliptical every day is really helping with my metabolism and drinking the water i think i'm flushing things out of my system a lot and i'm i am making some smarter choices for dinner so i think that is helping and i think doing this planner thing and trying to uh do my plan with me by my sorry and trying to do these plan with me videos and uh, writing my weight down and my steps it's really helping me i think to stay accountable and stay focused on what i want to do so now i'm just taking the uh, washi strips for the first page and um, on the first page and i'm just taking them and laying them down and i really like this uh, sparkly stuff and i'm using this one right now it's a, a gold one that i got and i've used it a few times it doesn't always seem to be so sticky and it's going to probably lift up a few times before I'm done. But at the end of the day when I'm all done and I've got it finished and I close the book and I put some other books on top of it, it just seems to uh, help it stick the rest of the way. And I've got this shiny one too that I'm using. So I'm using a gold on top and then that green one that I just put on. And um, it, that one is just really nice and shiny like a foil. So I really... Um, love the look of that it just uh it just and of course it takes up a lot of that white space so it just kind of really fills in fills in the uh the book and just makes it look more complete you know and i'm just trying to think what am i still doing that um should i keep talking to you or whatever but um so anyway that's the rest of the washi so i know i touched on a little bit of mr wiggles um our first foster great dane and um after we lost our Britneys and we had taken a few foster Britneys in from the American Britney Rescue and uh, we actually went out to New Jersey. We adopted one from Maryland and drove him home and um, he was with Lady. He had actually been tied to a tree. I guess maybe someone thought he wasn't a good hunter and they shot him a few times and he survived on his own for quite a while out in the woods. So he wasn't exactly quite right. We thought he was deaf but um, he could hear things. It just... Uh, the name that he came with wasn't the name that was his. Um, we had him for, for a while. Um, he was just, uh, he was so funny. He just, um, we just didn't know whether some nights, he, whether he was going to make it or not. He would, um, you know, he just, he, he had the issues from being shot in the head, but uh, we loved him. He was, he was a really good boy. Um, so after we lost uh, Lady Penelope and, and, J and Jakers was his name, um, we actually decided to uh, not have any more puppies for a while it was just uh, losing them was so hard but then a few months went by and I would just keep going on the American Brittany rescue page and I would go to work and of course I don't remember what heart attack it was but my husband was uh, was uh, not not uh, working anymore and so I would leave uh, that up on my computer so he could see those puppies every day and he'd come home and say yeah I know we're not getting another one I can't take any more losses and one day I came home to uh, Mr. Wiggles out in the yard he was a, a bag of bones and uh, my husband just had a friend um, that was taking him in for another friend um, she was going through a really rough time she was a breeder and at one time Mr. Wiggles was an international champion um, he had so many ribbons, um, very good stud puppy. His puppies would take in $7,000 at a time, um, but um, because the line was just so great. And um, anyway, the lady that uh, bred them, she had four, she had two males and two female Britneys, um, sorry, Great Danes, and she was going through a horrible divorce. And she ended up, you know, her husband was beaten beaten her and her kids and she finally got out of the house but she wasn't able to take the puppies and um, her dogs and her husband actually killed three of the dogs and um, 
Mr. Wiggles was on his way out when she got back in. He had poisoned him a few, a little bit. So when we got him, he was in pretty rough shape. She didn't have any way to take him, but she, she just didn't want to lose him the way she lost her other ones. She had a friend that took him in, and, um, and that's how we got him, that my husband knew him. And so she let us keep him, and I'm so grateful that she was able to get him out. He was a really good, good dog. Just uh, my husband would take him everywhere. And again, I said he wasn't working, but he would go hang out at the, the bike shops or whatever. And Mr. Wiggles went with him everywhere when he was in the wheelchair. And if he was having trouble getting back home, Wiggles would uh, be able to uh, get him back home safely. So anyway, that's it for my video. I hope everyone enjoys this, gives this video a thumbs up. We'll chat again soon, everyone, and I look forward to making some more videos with you. So anyway, thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.